But S, you had some, you had like the Muska shoe yeah. with the, with the zipper, with the stash, yeah. with the stash pocket. Right yeah. here. I, w- I want to ask something too, because th- I saw drawings at Soltech of the original shoe that you are wanted. The yeah. shell toe? It was like a shell, you basically, it looked like you wanted a shell toe kind of at first, right? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, being a graffiti kid, we, we wore shell toe mm-hmm. Adidas with fat laces. That was kind of like my thing at that time. I, I loved Fat laces and shell toes. Would like they be crossed thing. laces or, or, or I usually horizontal? went straight, or, straight across. Straight, you went yeah, straight across. Yeah, okay. Horizontal. Wanna, wanna on, make I, sure. I think I did both before, okay. but... Um, <laughs> I, I, uh, did a weave? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did the checkerboard did the for check- sure. <laughs> I had that one. I had that one. But I, I would switch it up. You know, yeah. that was kind of the fun of thing of fat laces. You could get different colors, this and that. Sure. Um, but uh, but yeah, so that was my original concept. And, and uh, I worked with a designer, Frank. Um, French Franck, I don't forgot his last name right uh, now. Frank Boistel. Frank Boist- Boistel, Boistel, I think. Yeah, Frank Boistel, OG yeah. homie. Thank you for helping me conceptualize the first shoe or, or, <laughs> or bring to life, manifest the first shoe yeah. for me. And so I've been in, um, you know, and and I, I was very much a part of that process. You know, I, I had, from what I remember, I had drawn something on a napkin, like a, like a sketchy version of mm. it, brought it in. And then Frank uh, manifested from that sketchy drawing into something uh, that was uh, too relatable to the, to send to the cool. factory. Um, but yeah, so the original one was a shell toe. Um, you could still see some of the elements, the stitching on it, kind of mm-hmm. represent on the toe. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Kind of represent the the idea of it being there still. Mm. And I don't remember if it was a, a legal issue or not. Um, if uh, they didn't want us to do it or if the molding issues or... Mm, I don't could know. have been patented at that point I'm not too. sure, yeah. There was something know. something with it, but uh, there was a... I had a, a pair of them that had it on it. Oh, wow. Right. And I wore them to Australia, I remember, and skated them. I loved them. They were so sick. Wow. Um, some guy in, in Australia said I gave them to him, or I think maybe in... Yeah, in Australia... Um, I think in Tasmania, huh. but I don't know if they're still in existence. Dude, hey, wow. up? If anybody has some uh, <laughs> <laughs> shell toe muskas, muskas <laughs> bring them on. I got to see that one. I feel like uh, like you and Costin and a lot like Sal. Maybe we're like you know you guys kind of had inspiration from basketball shoes or shoes that were, you already had skated in that weren't skate shoes initially. Oh yeah, I think I think all of skateboarding at that time took from uh, technical. Um, basketball or runners or um, you know different footwear because nothing else existed we had Mm -hmm. and and in in footwear in general it's like that there's always a starting point to everything it's like uh, in music everything any type of rock and roll is always going to be referenced to Led Zeppelin and The Who and Pink Mm -hmm. Floyd and you know it's Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. footwear is kind of like that too you know it's like there's 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 things that you were inspired by but in skateboarding I think we we always Definitely did it in our own way. You yeah. Know? I mean, that's definitely in its own way. This is awesome. <laughs> so yeah. going from the shell toe to that one, how happy were you with that one? I was hyped on You're it. Hyped. There was one other okay. thing that, um, that little shark fin on the side. Yeah. Yep. That originally uh, carried around. It went up, up and above in a line around the whole back. Oh. But, um, oh. So it wasn't just like that one little piece on its own. It was like all those elements kind of flowed around. Oh, no okay. way. Um, and then uh, we had an issue with the heel wasn't staying on. They had to stitch it or something. Mm. And so we ended up like last, that was like a last minute call. Right. So that was like one oh. thing I was a little bit bummed on. Um, the original w- design, I liked it, how it went around with it. Okay. Um which is funny. A lot of people I've heard them say, like, I love the little shark fin thing shark there. Fin. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, you know, and uh, and then the the Ollie guard from what I remember as well too. That I, I drew that out and put the S logo to be like the little Ollie patch. Mm-hmm. On oh, there. that's just the accent over the E. So you, how many shoes? You had like what three, three or four shoes on on an S? No, one. you had one. 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 I thought you had a couple. One. Just one. one. Just one. Was it the Circa that you had like three had or four? Lo- I had more than that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had a lot on Circa. You'd had a lot. Yeah, yeah. Wait, why what? Did, how, what happened with S and then going into Circa? So. Um, you don't know, that's op- for like a year. Yeah, Opportunity so, so knocks. Pretty much, you know, like yeah. um, when S first started, uh, Don Brown hit me and Tom Penny up and we're like, hey, we want to start this new subdivision and we want you guys to be a part of it. Uh, Costin's going to be a part of it. Rick Howard. Um, Chad Thomas? Uh, no, he wasn't part of it. He, he, he said he was. Initially, yeah. I heard that he was going to be and then he didn't it didn't happen. It was like for one day. Oh, yeah. I never heard that. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't, well, at least I don't remember it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Paul Sharp. Um, and Bob Burnquest, mm. um, those were like the, the the initial from what I remember. Okay. Could be missing somebody, but that that's what I remember the being the first squad. But they kind of I remember they approached it to be like it was kind of like me and Tom's thing. Like mm. and me and Tom were super tight at that time, yeah. and uh, that was like the initial kind of allure. Like the sign is so rad, like we could do stuff. And then it was kind of like that shoe came out and it was really successful. Um, 
but I still wasn't making like really like a lot of money there, which okay. seemed a little weird to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shoe company it, with your own shoe. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it was I mean, selling I made, good. I, I made money like for them. For I made more money off that than I did anything at that time. Okay, period. but then uh, Circa approached me. Well, before Circa, it was uh, they were they did a uh, it was a snowboard company. Forum. They did yeah, Forum yeah. snowboards and mm-hmm. Foursquare outerwear and Special Blend mm-hmm. and uh, Genius, I think it was and. Um, they had a cool like aesthetic like from what they were doing yeah and it, you know it's kind of like shorties of snowboarding kind of yeah and like had some like elements of like drawers and dub kind of mixed in and so they were doing some cool cut and sew stuff i i liked the quality of the products that they were making mm-hmm. um and and uh they pretty much offered me a lot of money <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and he was like you know here's a here's a gnarly deal for you we want you to be the star of this thing we want you to put it together and so then all of a sudden from from doing the shorties thing uh, and building that and being a part of it, everything, all of a sudden I was offered the same uh, idea within footwear. Right. And I was like, oh my gosh, which was even more exciting for me because I had been about fashion and style and, and things like, I was ghetto and I didn't have a lot of money, but I always liked to have my own personal style and and, yeah, and uh, sure. I was interested in that stuff. I, from a little kid, I would go to thrift stores and and get random stuff and and chop it up and you know and, okay. and, and try to make things my own. Sure, not having money forced me to be creative in different ways mm-hmm. in order to to have something that I thought was cool and try to fit in right. in my own way. And I think that that negative turned into a positive for me in life because I was able to apply it to designs and I had these these visions in my head. Right. Um so um and then Circa was like free for all. Do whatever you want. Work with these designers. Worked with uh Persue, ill designer and graffiti artist and, and artist in general, mm-hmm. graphic designer, um Nico, um my, my OG homie Nico, who was like um who one of the first people I'd met in San Diego as well too. Sick. Um, Yeah, yep. 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 He was a a designer. He was a great photographer too. Yep, sick Mm. photographer. I never say his last name right, so Aktipis. Nico Nico (laughs) Aktipis. He's uh he's he's a great he's a great guy. So it was and then Dustin Deardorf, another designer. So I I consider myself a designer. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm a conceptualist, I'm a creator. Um but without the teams that I've worked with to come up with these products like they wouldn't have been half as good as they are so I always like was lucky enough to cross paths with like people like Frank and mm. and Nico and Persue and, and Dustin and later in life Josh Brubaker um who did the sky top with yeah. me um and so just talented people yeah mm-hmm. I've, I've crossed paths with people that were able to see the vision i saw in my head that i'm, I'm not the best illustrator i'm not the best drawer mm-hmm. but i i would be able to get something close enough but they would see it what i saw you know yeah. um and, and then be able to take tech parts yes mm-hmm. and take take that and turn it into something um uh, that that was real um, yeah and so i thank all those guys like so much for 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 helping me um over these years to come up with these concepts, um, and uh, well, to manifest the concept, right. yeah. 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 I yeah. come up with the concept. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget it, companies. <laughs> <laughs>